Hi, Candy Flames here today with another Yankee Candle Chit Chat and Review and today we are talking about crisp campfire apples. So welcome back if you've been here before and if you're new to my channel then thanks for stopping on by, pleased to have you here and welcome. So um, I'm here for you every single Sunday usually reviewing Yankee Candles. So let's jump straight into this one. First of all I hope everybody's had a really good week out there, whatever you've been doing. Um, please leave a comment down below because I will get back to you and yes let's jump straight into this one so we have here the scent of freshly picked apples cooking over the fire in the crisp night air so going on to the looks of it beautiful red wax and this lovely picture there of um, some apples with some cinnamon on by the looks of it cooking over a fire really perfect for this time of year so we've got the top notes of apple, clove, mandarin leaf. We've got mid notes of cinnamon stick and oak leaves. And we have base of tonka and blonde woods. So um, this one came out a couple of years ago. And um, I love this. This is really autumnal. Great for now. Um, great for sort of coming up to uh, November the 5th bonfire night and everything it's just a fantastic candle honestly this is one of them ones that I'm just like yes <laughs> I want this one in my collection all the time so I do definitely get the apple from this and I can detect the clove there and the cinnamon so if you like Appable, appable. If you like apple, clove, and cinnamon, them type of notes, you are going to love this candle. The mandarin leaf there, you can get a slight citrusy sort of note there in the background. And this candle, it smells smoky. I love how they've done this. It actually smells, you can smell like fire, like smokiness to it. I think it's so clever. I think it's blended beautifully. And like I say, the way they've got that smoke running through with the apple and the cinnamon, it is just so this time of year. It really is great one for autumn. It's going to see you through winter. And, um, you know, if you're a foodie, if you love your foodie candles like I do, why not just have this when you want? You know, light this up whatever time of the year. But it really is going to work now for autumn. Um, absolutely loving it. And like I say, it will be one that I will permanently keep in my collection. So it's very versatile, most rooms except bathroom, I just, if you know me, you'll know I don't put foodie candles in my bathroom, but I think this will work well everywhere, kitchen, dining room, living room, um, it's a great one for when you have people coming, I just find it really welcoming, it's that cosy, welcoming atmosphere, people walk in and they're like, it smells lovely in here, it's one of them ones, um, I do love apple and pumpkin candles for autumn like they're my two top favorites so this one is one that i'm going to be using quite a lot i'm just really enjoying it so like i say if you like your apple apple your sort of the spiciness there with the clove and the cinnamon and you like this type of um scent you are going to love this the throw on this i find is really quite good as well i would give this a solid seven a solid seven to a seven and a half on the throw on this one uh, takes a while to get going but once it's pulled out you know it's, it's really nice um, I, I did have a look on the Yankee Candle website and I can see that this is a popular one 4.6 there from 278 people on the UK website so it's obviously a popular one out there and I understand why um, I've got a couple from this collection uh, I haven't got the I think it was uh, warm and cozy and I really wanted to try A Night Under the Stars. So if anyone out there has tried the Warm and Cozy from a couple of years back from Autumn Collection and A Night Under the Stars, please comment down below and let me know what they're like. Are they worth me getting and reviewing for you? Uh, yeah, let me know. But this one is a winner from me. Um, great on the throw, great to look at. And like I say, it's one of the top ones I would say for Autumn out of my current collection that I have. So next week, what am I doing next week? I think I'm going to be reviewing Home Sweet Home. Um, so I think it's either that one or Mulberry and Fig, but I think I'm going to do Home Sweet Home next week. Um, yeah, so if you've tried this one, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on this. Uh, I will get back to you. But like I say, for me, I'm just loving it. There's, there's just um, nothing bad to say about this candle. Looks 
love the label love the wax love the performance of it and the throw of it and like i say it works beautiful for autumn so uh, if you haven't tried it and you like the notes of the sort of main dominant ones which is the apple the clove the cinnamon there with this smokiness that is so clever i really love it when they do clever scents um you know like the beach ones and they actually smell sort of like they take you to a beach i just think it's really clever when they can do this with just a candle and this one looking at that label there okay and that is what you are going to smell it's really well done so yeah like i say that's it for this week um i will be back next week with home sweet home so have a good week whatever you're up to and i'll be back then bye